Most of us don't read the contract we're signing, and if you're a Rogers customer, it could cost a lot more than you think. Yep, customers are getting hit with a recent rate hike, one to four dollars per month per service. So, if you get phone, TV, and internet with Rogers, you could be paying up to 96 bucks more a year. Normally when you sign a contract, you pay a, a fee over the course of the contract. When Barry complains, Roger says, take a closer look at a key clause in its terms of service. And there it is. We may change at any time, any charges, features, content, functionality, structure, or any other aspects of the services. So here's what we really want to know. If Rogers raises your rate when you're locked in, are you stuck? To get a legal take, we meet up with Canadian contract law expert and U of Ottawa prof, Anthony Demsis. It really pushes the line of what is allowed legally, and I'd say more to the point, from a consumer protection perspective, it should simply not be allowed. It's what the law would call an unconscionable term. But Rogers says, we think that the provisions allowing us to make changes to rates in our terms of service are fair to customers, are clearly disclosed, and are in compliance with all applicable consumer protection legislation. What are the ramifications of me ending my service uh, early as far as a contract is concerned? You would pay an early cancellation fee? So I'd be paying $180 to basically cancel a service that's costing me $2 more a month. That's correct. Right.